So in this video today, guys, we're going to go over the inverses of logarithmic functions. So the first thing I want to do is talk to you guys about um, what that means. So um, because logarithms are inverses of exponents and the inverse of an exponential function such as y is equal to 2x is a logarithmic function. Um, that means that y is equal to log base 2 of x. And that's because, again, when we do this, we're going to swap our x and y values. So this is going to be x equals 2 to the y value, right? And then our base is our base. And then this goes on the other side of the equal sign, and so does the x. So that's what we do when we're doing inverses, if you recall. So remember, when finding the inverses, we swap the x and y, and then we solve for y, right? Okay, so um, when we were doing um, graphing of y equals 2 to the x power, that's an exponential, um, we're looking at the function over here, the blue function. Y'all see this blue function right here? So this is the function we're talking about when we're talking about y to the 2 to the power of x. Two to, y <laughs> equals 2 to the x power, sorry. Um, so if you look here what our domain is, notice that um, this graph is going to keep going left and it's going to keep going right, isn't it? So this is going to be all real numbers. Whereas our range is ever, all of our values are going to be y is greater than zero because y is our asymptote. Um, the y-axis is our asymptote, so it's going to be above that um, anytime we have a function like 2 to the x power. Now, when we talk about um, its inverse, <clears throat> we're talking about log base 2 of x. Okay, so that's this function over here. And when we talk about this function, notice that things are now flipping, right? Because our asymptote now is the y-axis, um, and our uh, domain is going to be, now x is going to be greater than zero. So it's going to approach that y-axis, but it's never going to reach it, and that is the line y is equal to um, zero. I mean, sorry, x is equal to zero. Um, and then our range is going to be all real numbers, because if you notice again, looking going down and going up, right? This graph is going to continue to go down and it's going to continue to go up. Now I want to show you something on Desmos. Um, well, first of all, before I do that, notice that this, this reflects over the line y is equal to x. That's what tells us that these are inverses of each other. And if we were to look at this point right here and this point here, which is what we're going to do in just a second in Desmos, we're going to compare them and we're going to see if they, um, if they flip, if they swap x and y, right? So I went ahead and put in the function 2 to the x power, and now we're going to put in the function. Um, we're going to go over here, down here to our uh, tool, click on functions, and we're going to scroll down. And if you remember, and when we're doing this in on um, SchoolNet, these are all different uh, pop-ups. They're different tabs, these different areas here. So I'm trying to see where the log is at. There it is, log base. Okay. So we're going to do the log base of um, 2, and then we're going to say to the x power, right? That's what we want. Let me see if I can get over here. Okay. We're going to go ahead and close those parentheses. Maybe. Okay. So notice now you can see the same functions that we had on our graph, right? The colors are flipped, but nonetheless, they are the same functions. So notice here when we are doing our y equals 2 to the x power, that's 0, 1. And when we're doing um, the log base 2 of x, that is 1, 0. They are flipping. Now, obviously, another way we could do this is to build our table functions and look at these tables and compare them, right? So um, seeing if our x and y values flip again. So notice here, again, um, at 1, 0, we're at 0, 1, right? At 2, 1, we're at um, 1, 2, okay? So you could put in those other values just to check it out and make sure that they are inverses, but that's a great way to check it. So here again, we're going to just find the inverse of a regular function. We're going to switch our x and y. So I'm going to go ahead and write y equals up here, y equals 3 times x minus 7. I'm going to go ahead and swap my x and y. That's going to be my first step. So this is going to be x equals 3y minus 7. So our first step, obviously, would be, would be to divide by this 3. So that's going to be x over 3 is equal to y minus 7. And then we're going to add 7 to both sides, right? So we're going to add that 7 to both sides. So our answer is going to be x over 3 plus 7, that's equal to y, or that's our inverse. And once again, we can check this in Desmos. So let's do that quickly just so I can show you. So I'm going to do my original function up here. 
which is 3 times x minus 7 in parentheses. So that's my original function. Then I'm going to do, see if we can make sure that this is its inverse. So it's going to be x divided by 3. And then we're going to add 7 to that. So let's go ahead and scroll out here. Click up here and scroll out a little bit. Just so we can see, definitely looks like it's reflecting over the line y equals x. The way to verify that again is to build our tables, right? Um, so I'm going to go here again and build the table there as well. Um, so if we look at negative 2, it's at negative 27. So if we put negative 27 here, do we get two, negative 2? We do. Um, here at negative 1 is negative 24. So once again, if we did negative 24, do we get negative 1? We do. Okay, so that's a great way to verify are these inverses of each other. So for our first examples, we're going to do finding the inverse of the following functions. We're going to do logs, okay? So once again, I'm going to just rewrite these with a y and an x first. So I'm going to say y is equal to the log base 4 of 3x. And I'm going to swap my x and y first, okay? So this is going to be log base 4 of 3y. Now I'm going to change it to exponential form. So our base is our base, our base. So our base is 4. We're going to take what's on the other side, the x to the power, and that's going to equal our 3y. Okay. Then what we want to do is go ahead and divide both sides by 3 because we want to get y by itself. So um, when we talk about y, y is going to be equal to 4 to the x power over 3. That is our inverse. Okay. So let's see if you guys can do the U try. Come back to me when you're done. So here again, I'm going to write this y is equal to log base 3 of 2x. Then I'm going to swap my x and y. So this is going to be x equals log base 3 of 2y. I'm going to write it in exponential form again. So our base is 3 to the x power, and that's going to be equal to 2y. So what are we going to do now? We're just going to divide by that 2, right? So that's going to give us y is equal to 3 to the x power divided by 2. That is our inverse, okay? Now the x, next one's going to be a little more complicated. Um, you know, we kind of try to start simple and go more complicated, okay? So now this time, again, we're going to rewrite it first with our y and our x. So that's going to be y equals negative 8 log of x minus 3 plus 5. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to swap the x and y. So I'm going to say x is equal to negative 8 log of y minus 3 plus 5. Now, this is going to be a little different because we want to get just the log with what comes next by itself. Okay, so what we want to do first is subtract the 5 from both sides. So this is going to be x minus 5 equals negative 8 log of y minus 3. And again, we want to get that log by itself, so we're going to now divide both sides by negative 8, okay? So we're going to divide this side by negative 8, and we're going to divide that by negative 8. Now we have x minus 5 divided by negative 8 equals the log of y minus 3. Now, if you recall from last week, when we have a log without a base, the base is 10. Okay, so we're going to put the 10 here, and now we're going to write it in exponential form. That's not very clear. Let me do that again. So this is going to be log base 10, okay, of my y minus 3. Okay, so now we're going to write it in exponential form. So it's going to be 10 to the x minus 5 divided by negative 8 power and that's going to be equal to our y minus 3. Now what we want to do is move that negative 3. So how would we do that? We would add 3 to both sides, wouldn't we? So that's exactly what we're going to do. So when we say y equals, it's going to be y equals 10 to the x minus 5 over negative 8, which means that's going to be a negative power ultimately, um, and that's going to be um, plus 3, okay? So now look, let me show you another way that this might be written. y equals 10 to the negative x plus 5 over 8 plus 3. Now why would that be? Because I negated everything. So I pulled that negative out. It means I changed the whole term, right? So now I want to show you this in decimals just to check our answer. So I went ahead and put both functions in. And then I'm comparing them again. Notice that our 0 here, 0, uh, 
comma 7.217 and down here it's 7.2170 so that's a great way to double check right and notice at this point is the same for both okay so that's a really quick and easy way to do it even without the tables so go ahead and do the you try and um, we'll check it when you guys are done okay so once again we got y is equal to log of 3x minus 5 so we are going to swap our x and y this time we're going to add 5 to both sides to get rid of that 5 so we got x plus 5 is equal to log of 3y we want to put it in exponential form so we don't have a base so our base is going to be 10 so we're going to take 10 to the x plus 5 power and that's going to be equal to 3y so once again we're going to divide both sides by 3 so y is going to be equal to 10 to the x plus 5 power divided by 3 some parentheses and sometimes it won't so um but in desmos you're going to have to put it in parentheses and i'll show you that so i went ahead and put in the first function now i'm going to put in the other one so we're going to go 10 and I'm going to click here to take it up as the exponent. Now, if I put x and then I put plus, notice it jumps down. So what I want to do is up here when I'm doing my exponent, I want to go ahead and put it in parentheses. So it's going to be x plus 5. Um, and then I'm going to close my parentheses. And then I'm going to use this arrow key to go back down. And I'm going to divide by 3. So now... So what I went ahead and did was I went ahead and built these tables, okay? So at 4, we were at negative 3.920818. Whoops. Um, and uh, so when I went ahead and put in that y, that x, that y value is my x value, and I got 3.9999. So basically that's 4, right? And then I went ahead and did these two values as well. And notice I got pretty much 1 and pretty much 2 down here. So that's another way to verify to make sure that they truly are inverses of each other, okay? So now that I've showed you a couple times how to do um, check the inverses, um, we're just going to work through the rest of these and not check them, okay? So this time again, we're going to say y is equal to the log base 1 half of 2x minus 5 plus 6. We're going to swap our x and y. Base 1 half of 2y now minus 5 plus 6. So the first thing we're going to do is subtract 6 from both sides. So that's going to give us x minus 6 equals the log base 1 half of 2y minus 5, right? Okay, now we're going to write it in exponential form. So we're going to take our base 1 half and we're going to take it to this power right here, x minus 6. And we're going to set that equal to our 2y minus 5. Now we're going to have to add 5 to both sides. Okay, so that's going to be our 1 half to the x minus 6 Ooh, plus 5 is equal to 2y. Then we're going to have to do what? Divide uh, everything by our 2, right? So, so this is going to be y is equal to um, our 1 half to the x minus 6 plus 5 power all divided by 2. Okay? So that is our inverse. So go ahead and do you try three and come back to me when you're done. Okay, so now we're going to do what we've been doing. Write the function as it is with just a y, and then we're going to swap our x and y. Okay, so we're going to now say x equals log base 6 of 4y plus 10. So we're going to subtract the 10 from both sides. So this is going to be x minus 10 equals log base 6 of 4y. Now we're going to write it in exponential form. So we're going to take our base and we're going to say 6 to the x minus 10 equals our 4y. Um, and then we're going to have to divide both sides by 4. So this is going to be y is equal to 6 to the x minus 10 power divided by 4. So now we're going to go from exponential to logarithmic. So we're going to, once again, write it as it is with just the y, and we're going to then first swap our x and y. So this is going to be x equals 4 to the y power plus 6. So our first step, again, would be to subtract 6 from both sides. So x minus 6 equals 4 to the y power. 
Now we're going to write it in logarithmic form. So we're going to take our base and we're going to say log base 4 of what's on the other side of the parentheses or of the equal sign. So that's going to be x minus 6 and that's going to be equal to our exponent right y. Okay. So that is um, written in logarithmic form as an inverse. So go ahead and do the u try. Come back to me when you're done. So here again, we're going to write y is equal to 5 to the x power plus 7. Swap the x and y. We're going to then, once again, subtract 7 from both sides. So this is going to be x minus 7 is equal to the 5 to the y power. Now we're going to write it in logarithmic form. So we're going to take our base, log, log base 5 of what's on the other side of the parentheses. So that's going to be x minus 7, and that's going to be equal to our y. So this next one's going to be a little more complicated, but we're going to work through it together. So y is equal to, again, 3 to the 2 to the negative x minus 8. Okay. All right. So um, we're going to swap our x and y again. 3 times 2 to the negative y uh, power uh, minus 8. Okay. So <clears throat> first thing we're going to do is add that 8 to both sides. So we're going to add 8 to both sides. So it's going to be x plus 8 equals 3 times 2 to the negative y power. So now we're going to divide both sides by 3. So now um, that's going to be x plus 8 divided by 3 is equal to uh, 2 to the negative y power. Right now we're going to write it in logarithmic form. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our base here, log base 2 of what's on the other side of the parentheses. So that's going to be x plus 8 divided by 3, and that's going to be equal to our negative y. Well, we don't solve for a negative y, so we're going to multiply a negative 1 times everything, right? So that's going to give us a negative log base 2 of x plus 8 divided by 3. That's going to be equal to our y. Okay? So you guys go ahead and do the u try. Pause the video. Come back to me when you're done. So here we go again. y is equal to 2. We're just putting the y in for the f of x first. Times 6 to the x power minus 3. Okay? So now we're going to swap the x and y. So it's going to be x equals 2 times 6 to the y power minus 3. So we're going to add 3 to both sides. So that's going to be x plus 3 is equal to 2 times 6 to the y power. So now we're going to divide both sides by 2. So we get x plus 3 divided by 2 is equal to 6 to the y power. Now we're going to write it in logarithmic form. So we're going to take our base, which is the 6. So it's going to be log base 6 of what's on the other side of the parentheses. This over here. So we're going to say x plus 3 divided by 2, and that's going to be equal to our y. So now we're on example 6, and again, we're going to swap out with the f of x for the y. So y is equal to 5 to the x minus 2 power. So what we're going to do now, again, is um, go ahead and uh, swap our x and y. So x is equal to 5 to the y minus 2 power, right? So now we're going to go ahead and just write this in logarithmic form. So we've got our base here. So it's going to be log base 6 of x is equal to y minus 2. Again, we're not trying to solve for y minus 2. We're trying to solve for y. So we want to add 2 to both sides. Okay, so now that 2 is not going to be in the parentheses. So when we write this, we're going to say log base 6 of x plus 2 because it's not x plus 2 that we're going to take the log base 6 of, which is the x. And that's going to be equal to y. Okay? All right, go ahead and do this last you try and come back to me when you're done. So here again, we're going to rewrite the problem. y is equal to 3 to the x plus 10 minus 9. Swap x and y. So wouldn't we first get rid of that negative 9 by adding 9? Mm-hmm. Add 9 to both sides, so that's going to be x plus 9 is equal to 3. Whoops, I didn't change that x to a y, did I? Let's go ahead and change that to a y right there, y'all. So you'll catch it like I did if you don't end up with an x and a y. Um, so that's going to be 3 to the 
y plus 10 power, right? Now we're going to write it in logarithmic form again. So this is our base. So it's going to be log base 3 of what's on the other side of the parenthesis, which is your x plus 9. This time that is all going in the parenthesis, right? Because it's all of what was on the other side of the equal sign. And that's going to be equal to our what? y plus 10. So now here again, we're going to have to subtract that 10 from both sides, right? So our answer is going to be log base 3 of x plus 9 minus 10. That's going to be equal to y.